Obviously, it was a uh, it was a very complicated game against a really tough rival. I think they uh, they put us on the back foot and put us on the counter really quickly with with a lot of their pressure. Uh, but moving past that, looking at the uh, the end of the second half, we really showed that we're a team that uh, that really likes to fight and wants to fight uh, fight to be at the top of this league. Um, their their fourth goal hurt us, right? Especially with that uh, with that short field and turning it over right there. Um, but uh, you know, with the momentum that we had, with the inertia that we had, we really felt like we were in a position to equalize uh, before that. Um, obviously, happy for my goals, but uh, we were really looking to to tie it up or win the game tonight. Luis, just what did you see in in that last fifteen minutes that kind of just opened up the game for you guys? Obviously, Ramiro's goal, um, but just after they scored that goal in the seventy first, what what did you kind of see going forward for you guys? Yeah, I think I saw I saw in us a uh, a team that was uh, really ready to push uh, a team that uh, in the difficult moments showed a lot of strength and and had that going forward. I think uh, especially with uh, with those two goals and then uh, possibly with uh, if if Nico's shot had gone in, we we could have been tied three three, and then uh, from there we could have pushed forward and then and really uh, pushed to win the game. Uh, I think I saw. Uh, in this league, the the strength of of a lot of great players, especially on our team, and that uh, if if we all show that strength together, that we can really push and and make a run at the top of the league. Thanks for your time, Luis, and congratulations on the the two goals tonight. Um, they say the old saying is that you learn more from losses than from wins. Uh, against the defending champions on the road, a team that doesn't concede very often. You guys were able to uh, to fight back at a four, you know in a four three game. What did you guys learn tonight about yourselves and and how close you are to playing uh, at the level of the league's best teams? Yeah, I think uh, I think we learned, especially in those those last fifteen or twenty minutes, the the type of team that we can be and the the strength that we can show together, especially against <laughs> one of the uh, one of the best teams in the league. We were at the point where we were about to equalize from three goals down and put ourselves in a position to win the game. I think uh, that was the the biggest lesson that we take as a team from, from tonight is that uh, we're, we're a team that when we all play together and when we play and be the Orlando that we know we can be, that uh, we can go toe to toe with anyone in this league. Yeah, I think uh, you know this is this is a year been a year of learning for me, right? Uh, obviously, a, lo a lot of new things for me when I came to this league. A chance to uh, a chance to learn this league because really before I came here, I didn't know uh, too much overall. But I think uh, uh, you know as as I go through these games, I'm learning more about uh, how the the technical ability is overall within the league. Uh, obviously, I think. Uh, one thing that the league is really strong in is is the physical uh, aspects of it, the running, the strength. Uh, and then I think uh, moving through these these last few games, what I really want to do is to be able to to help the team, whether it's uh, providing assists, scoring goals. Uh, what I really want, uh, especially, is like a game like tonight or a game uh, like we had on Wednesday, where I'm able to to help the team push ourselves forward in the attack and score goals. And uh, you know, we've only got uh, about four games left, so I'm going to do everything I can to achieve that. Next up, we'll go to Luis Carlos Pineda. Hola, Luis. Eh, muy buenas noches. Eh, felicidades con tu con tu doblete. Eh, quería preguntarte, hubo un cambio de chip. Eh, entró, entraste tú, entró Ramiro. Eh, ¿Qué fue lo que les dijo Oscar eh, para empezar a dominar el, el partido? Y casi creo que si no hubiera habido muchos regalos de balón, eh, hubiera hasta podido ganar Orlando el día de hoy. 
Bueno, es, no, el profe simplemente, simplemente no, nos manda al campo con, con las indicaciones que nos manda siempre. Eh, creo que está en, en, en nosotros, en, la, en, la, en lo fuerte que seamos mentalmente cuando, cuando, cuando se presentan estas ocasiones en las que vas perdiendo y entras para que, a, a, a darle una mano al equipo, a levantarlo. Y creo que hoy eh, Ramiro, Nico, eh, eh, yo entramos con... con Con, ese, con, esa, con esa mentalidad de querer ayudar y nos salió muy bien. Eh, el equipo eh, se viene eh, reforzando mucho en, en, en los jugadores que entran en los últimos partidos. Eh, siempre entran, hacen la diferencia. Eh, en los partidos anteriores, Duncan ha entrado, ha marcado goles eh, y, y, y Nico hace, haciendo asistencias. Entonces, eso es muy bueno para, para nosotros. para, como lo decía antes, este final de temporada nos van a necesitar a todos, sea de, de inicio que del banco, y es importante que mentalmente estemos nosotros fuertes y con ganas de ayudar al equipo. Yeah, you know, he was uh, he was telling us the same thing that he's that he always tells us in those moments to stay uh, to stay uh, mentally ready and mentally strong uh, in in those moments, right? Everyone, uh, especially in those moments where where the team is losing and and there's a chance to to make a change, everyone on the team is is raising their hand, saying that they want to help. Uh, you know, Ramiro, Nico, myself, we were we were all ready for that. We were all in that uh, mental space to to come in and help. especially looking at the the strength of of all the players that we have on this team in the last game you know Duncan came in and and scored goals Nico's come in uh, and and provided assists so uh, I think especially with with how strong this team in a team is as players we've got that uh, ability that no matter what when we come in we're able to affect the game and and keep ourselves in a mentally strong place whether it's uh, starting or coming off the bench we, we all do what we need to to help this team Yeah, I think uh, this week it's it's going to be really important for us to to recover mentally and physically. Obviously, we've had a we've had a really tight run of a lot of games in a small span. Uh, you know, so we're going to take this week and enter this week uh, to do the best we can, as it's a really important moment for the team going into those uh, going into those last four games. Uh, coming into tonight, we've we've been playing really well. Uh, the defense has been strong, the attack has been strong, and we've been moving this team in the right direction on the table. Uh, this loss isn't going, going to uh, derail us from that line and, and from our goal, and so we're going to go into this week with, uh, with the highest possible work for ourselves. Uh, Luis, just with three games in eight days this week, and then in two weeks' time, you'll have another three games in eight days. How much does this kind of experience, especially for you personally, just help in terms of preparation for the end of the season where you're going to have those those last couple games uh, in such quick succession? When we enter those stretches where where you have a lot of games in a short period of time, you need uh, you need everyone to be to be at their maximum, especially in those moments where where the effort is is great on everyone that's playing the game. So you have to be uh, we we need everyone to be ready. We need everyone to be giving the maximum in training and and keep themselves ready and and show the coaching staff that that we're ready for that. Uh, you know, entering these uh, these last four games, we're going to give it our all. We're going to try and finish the the regular season in the best uh, in the best way possible, and enter enter the playoffs on uh, on full. Uh, okay, very intense match. I have to give credit to our players that uh, they show all the time our heart and our willingness to bounce back from the adversity um, that the game uh, put us on. Since we couldn't finalize our chances, especially in the first half, but we could open the game. And we have very clear actions there. Uh, and second half, uh, we could uh, tie the game as well. So very intense game against a good rival. And our performance, you say that, uh, that we keep this momentum despite of uh, not getting the result, but the boys are, are pushing and playing, playing hard and playing well. Um, we will get ready for the next one. Great. Next, we will go to Austin David. Oscar, just you know, talking about the the preparation for this game. I know it was it was very short, um, but with with the way Columbus plays, the sheer amount of passes that they uh, they have every game. How do, how do you prepare just from an, an aggressive standpoint of like how to play aggressive or or sit back? How do you kind of balance the two uh, against a team that just loves passing around the ball? Um, well, I always say that uh, this game is uh, um, a game of uh, proposals and risks. You, you propose to be aggressive up front and 
do you have the risk to open spaces in the back and especially against uh, a team who knows how to play those in those spaces but also when we propose to be dense and to be organized as we did it in the first half uh we had clear options in behind of them that we couldn't uh finalize and change the story of the game so against a team who has uh these initiatives sometimes you have to go for one of the two in in the second half well uh, we, we choose to uh push much more and um regardless of the spaces that we leave in behind we, we can see two goals but also we score three so as uh is that is a thing of the game Austin that that uh, we have to balance but uh, today they score one more goal than us and they take the result uh but we um had a a, a good game we have a good game I thought that uh, we were very competitive and we we, as I say at the beginning, beginning we, we could have uh, uh, been leading the, the half uh, easily with a few chances that we had that hit the post twice and, and you guys saw. Next, we'll go to Mike Romajo. Thank you, Lucas. Oscar, um, talking about Luis Muriel, we, we spoke to him just a few moments ago. Um, obviously, the, the, it's been a year for, for him where he's learning still about the league and, and, and the physicalities that it brings. Um, but these last two games, he's been able to be a little bit of a contributing factor for the for the group. He had an assist in Duncan's goal last Wednesday, and then today, obviously the two goals, and he also played a part in that second goal where he found Ivan, where and then Ramiro Ramir scored. Um, what, what are you hoping to see out of of at least Muriel with these next the last four games of the regular season, especially after this first year where he's still kind of learning a little bit about uh, what the league brings. Well, it's a great news. Uh, what is happening with Luis? I have uh, to highlight his professionalism and the way he's adapting to the rhythm of the league and the rhythm of the team. Uh, I think he's finding results already, and for us, is what we're looking for. It's a great news to have him uh, raising his level and being so productive for us, and then. Uh, we hope that we continue with it because it, at this point we need him. We will go back to Austin David. Oscar, just kind of going back to those those early chances that hit the post. I mean, this being a game of inches, how how tough is it to to have those moments that were so close, but then on the other end they they score? Um, just ment mentally wise, especially going into the halftime, how did you kind of? Uh, help the team and adjust uh, from those chances that they weren't able to score. Uh, right, I thought it was uh, um, the character uh, of the boys that I I I remarked the most because the first half he was very unfair with with us and and but the game is like that it's not and you have to score and 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 prevent the other team to score that's, that's simple. But um, but but we felt that we have the best of the actions and in front of the goal we hit the post twice and then after that uh, we couldn't sustain the zero in the first half that we wanted and uh, and they were more lethal in those actions and against uh, rivals like Columbus and has happened before well, we have to be lethal as well but the good thing is that we scored three goals too we were very close to tie the game at. Uh, that it was a uh, eighty something when we have that clear option when they try to clear the ball and almost we score, um, and then the game just went away when uh, we can see that uh, ball to them. But again, I've seen uh, this is the game which you have to score and um, and prevent not to do it. We 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 had a we had a very competitive game today, and now I'm going to stick with it. Next, we'll go to Michael Citro. Oscar, thanks for your time. Um, Columbus, obviously the defending champions, uh, have, have held your team off the scoreboard last couple of times that you've met. Both teams came into this game with long uh, shutout streaks, and, and so, of course, seven goals get scored. What have you kind of learned about Columbus from facing them three times in the last year? Uh, that you know, where do you feel that your team is in you know relative to what has been the best team in the league over the last year? 
Uh, they had a way to play uh, that it seems like, like they had control of the game and you have to live with that. And also uh, when you are in possession, we have to have the personality to open this, their spaces. In terms of uh, the scoring goals is what it makes the difference, Michael. Uh, remember the games that we have played uh, lately against them and uh, we have uh, numerous options to score, and then we have to be lethal there. Because what happened with Columbus is that they 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 do it. You know, when they get there, they score goals, and that's what it makes a difference. I think at this point in the league, but it's a team that play well, and I uh, always respect that. And uh, our journey says that uh, we have to be lethal against the teams like them, and. And when we have the option, we have to put it away, and that's it. And we will wrap up with Austin David. Uh, Oscar, just with, with the three games in eight days, um, especially finishing off against a, a team like Columbus, just overall uh, having this experience, especially for a couple weeks from now when you get to do it again and have another midweek game and a weekend game, um, how does it prepare uh, your team in in that respect, just just mentally and physically, uh, to prepare for, you know, the the long stretch at the end of the season. Uh, I think we look uh, very fresh today, the boys. I thought we shared the minutes of the game with uh, the guys who came at Charter too, and uh, we keep the consistency that has been very productive for the team in the last seven or eight games. Uh, I don't think we suffer too much in the physical part today. As I said at the beginning, if you find a reason today uh, not to get the result, it's because we were not lethal and Columbus was. And the preparation we will keep doing on our system and the way we do things and uh, uh, trying to get the boys ready. I'm very happy to see that our, our roster is richer now in terms of uh, the options that we bring in from the bench that can easily start it too and just give us a refresh. So I'm very proud of them, I've seen, and, um, and uh, tell the boys uh, uh, leaving, obviously, um, not happy, but uh, proud of the effort that they did today. Great. Thank you, Oscar, and safe travels back. Thank you.